Hi lovely people, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking to watch my video. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Tammy. Please stick around and also do well by giving my video a like as well as subscribe if you're yet to subscribe and also comment down below what you like about this video. When you like my videos and you make comments on my videos, also sharing it, it really helps the algorithm. So please support me by giving it a thumbs up at the end of the video and also commenting what you like about the video. Thank you so much. So let's get into today's video. Today I am going to be trying the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. For the first time I'm really excited. This is obviously trending and also a coincidence because I am looking for a good foundation. This has skincare in it and I'm just really excited to give it a try. I hope I picked the right shade because at Sephora you can use the shade finder but then you know sometimes you're right sometimes you're wrong but from the shade finder and from from a little bit of research that I did. Iguazu is my shade. It says it's my shade, which is also deep three. So that's what I have in here. I got that plus a couple of other products from Sephora. So I'm going to be doing a Sephora haul, like a small little mini Sephora haul. So look out for that video if it's not already up. Anyway, so let me talk to you guys briefly about this foundation. This is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. It is says it's a medium coverage. The finish is natural and it's a liquid foundation. It has a couple of really good highlights ingredients, breathable medium coverage, buildable foundation, quickly conceals visible redness, blemishes, and dark spots while blurring the look of wrinkles, pores, and texture. Powered by 70% skincare ingredients for visibly improved clarity plus light reflecting complex for enhanced luminosity. All day wear formula is suitable for most skin types including sensitive. So that's pretty much the summary of the goodness of this foundation. I hope this is my shade. All right so I'm just gonna give this a try to see if it's it matches me. I'm gonna put just one pump here and then I'm gonna use a foundation brush to apply. So this is just one pump and this is what it looks like on the back of my hand. Yeah this looks like it's definitely gonna work. I'm gonna try it on this side of my face. I don't have anything on right now. I'm gonna be using this NYX brush. This is a clean brush. I'm gonna apply it. Mm -hmm. Yeah this looks like this looks like it's yeah what do you guys think I'm gonna spread it a little bit yeah <laughs> let me put some hmm feels really nice feels like I'm putting lotion on my face actually look at how that blended right into my skin <laughs> Wow, this is awesome. Wow. Yeah, this is this is nice foundation. I love it. Wow. Okay. I'm gonna put a couple more two, okay, three more pumps, and then just put some here, a little bit here. Okay. So that's three pumps, and I'm gonna just apply. The only thing I'm concerned about is if it oxidizes. I think even if it oxidizes, it's like still gonna be perfect. Wow, this is nice. Wow. This looks so good. Oh my goodness, this looks really good on me. <laughs> I love it, I love it. That was a total of about four pumps on my face right now and it's giving definite radiance that's for sure full coverage not so much because you know you guys can still see a few of the and i like the coverage it's really soft it gives me like a nice medium coverage it's not full coverage but i like it i really like the way it feels on my skin it doesn't feel heavy it doesn't feel like it's like soaking into my pores or whatever it literally feels like it's just laying on my skin i love the way it feels i like the way it looks it's supposed to be giving like a natural finish and that's exactly 
exactly what I'm getting. It also says it's uh, medium coverage and that's exactly what I'm getting because you can still see some of my blemishes right here. If I wanted to add more foundation to that, I would, but I don't think I need to. I mean, I'm getting a good amount of coverage. This would be perfect for like everyday wear if I wanted to like, like my Zoom video or something. I mean, I do see the immediate switch of my skin be looking radiant, looking glowy, looking really pretty. I like it. Just the first impression alone, I'm impressed. So I'm going to continue I'm going to finish up my face using a couple of other new products that I purchased from Sephora. Okay, it's almost three o'clock so it's two exactly 245 right there I'm gonna be back maybe at six o'clock about four hours wear test to see how well it wears I'm gonna just try to not touch up I'm gonna continue by finishing my face off with some of the other products that I bought Alright guys, so this is the final look. I didn't use any lashes this time. I just kind of wanted this to be as quick as possible. But this is what my face is looking like. I like the finish. I like the way it looks. It's really light and airy. Yeah, so I'm going to try to do a wear test for this. This is what it's looking like and it's now 3.35 p.m. And I'm going to try to come back maybe around 6 or 8. Alright guys, so it's actually 6.08 now. And I just want to show you what my face is looking like right now. I do not have any smile lines. I have not touched up. I've just been doing mummy duties here and there. Having a little bit of like shine in this area, nose area, cheeks area. I mean some of the glare could be from the light as well but just showing you guys. It feels like I have nothing on in the mirror. It doesn't look as shiny as it is on camera. Obviously the light that is right here is making it seem more but I'm gonna check back in in a couple more hours. Alright guys so <laughs> I'm so tired. It's now 8.25. I just want to show you what my face looks like and this is what I'm looking like. Very much similar to how I looked earlier around 6 when I showed you guys. I'm like shiny here, shiny here, pretty much shiny everywhere which is almost 6 hours I think. I want to say about 6 hours. Maybe 5 hours. Okay let's say 5 hours but this is what it's looking like. I'm gonna try to dab a little bit. Yeah. My face still looks pretty good. Let me see if I could add a little bit of powder. I'm gonna be using this Sayate London powder. So this is what it's looking like now that I have put a little bit of powder on. You can tell a slight difference and I'm not as shiny anymore. Without all that light though, I do look a lot more matte and I'm loving that. And my face is still looking very well put together except for my lipstick which needs to be redone but that's okay. I really like the foundation. I'm going to reuse this a couple of times. I really really enjoyed using it. It's really lightweight. It doesn't feel like I have anything on. I like that it has like skincare properties in it that would over time improve the skin and I know that it's not full coverage but even though with that I still have slight medium coverage and I like that it's true to what it says which is one thing I really like about the product and I would recommend it for anyone that's looking for like a lightweight foundation with a medium coverage as well as with good skincare properties in it over time improving your skin I would really recommend this foundation anyways I hope you guys like this video so I want to say thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to give my video a thumbs up I like it also comment down below what you like about the video as well as share the video and also subscribe if you're yet to subscribe thank you so much for your support and i'll see you guys in my next video bye